What's up, guys? My name is Darius P. And shout out to EA for paying for your boy's trip down to Orlando, Florida, and allowing me to capture this early footage of Man NFL 18. I got another full game for y'all Cowboys versus Packers. No commentary. Enjoy the game sound and the presentation in Man NFL 18. My name is Darius P. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Thank you, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and Mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Green Bay Packers. And we say hi again, everybody. Brandon Gauden here as we count down to kickoff. I turn to my partner, that's Charles Davis. And Charles, Larry pointed out in the open, we've got a pretty good matchup of wide receivers here this afternoon, don't we? And those guys have such a big impact on the game nowadays. We know it's a throwing game, but the guys who can go up and get it, the guys who can break tackles after the catch and make bigger plays, oh yeah, they love spotlight as well. They want the football, they want the attention. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. Their second year QB leading them. It's the NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year for 2017, Dak Prescott. For a fourth round selection, item with Ben Roethlisberger for the most as a rookie starting quarterback. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And a big hit at the end of that one. He's knocked down hard right near the 27th. And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel... And the quarterback is actually split out wide there in the Wildcat. They go to Elliott again. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Elliott last year so darn good over 1600 yards most in the NFL it, actually there were 10 teams that didn't rush for as many yards as he did that's how good he was and just think there is a place for him to get better and I think it's in pass receiving not necessarily the hands he can make even more big plays doing that this is Elliott and the gadget package there won't do much for him. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there. Second down. And a peek at the defense for the Packers. Some people think it's trite to say, but it's hard to be great in the NFL. But Nick Perry, he's starting to round into form. Had 12 and a half sacks in his first four years in the league. Had 11 in 2016. Has become a fourth. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. They call it in passing defense. Now, I know injuries had something to do with that, but that's, that's a ship they're looking to right. They have to because what they do so well on offense, in some ways, they're wasting by allowing what they're allowing on defense. So now you change where in the past you might have played man to man. Do you back off of some of the schemes that you played before and emphasize something new? Bottom line, though, they've got to cover tighter and knock away a few of those passes downfield. Throw left side complete. That's Bryant. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll look. After the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game, what about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? Again, it's Elliott. About three yards there to the 27. There wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On 
third down, it's Prescott. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Then it's Ha Ha Clinton Dix with a pick. First quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. A first carry here for Ty Montgomery. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. So when you call a corner blitz, what a lot of teams call a cat blitz, you're expected to come after the quarterback. But in this case, he ran into the ball carrier. Really nice technique, because what you do is you come deep as the deepest offensive player, so he can't get outside of you. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on... Play fake to Montgomery. Now Rodgers. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Robert Blanton. And he's able to take this. This offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Going right side, he has Winton. And he'll get up to the 43 quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage. And Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice pickup of 14. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense is just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards down good before there's even a hint of contact. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. While other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to key on first down. But I love that the play caller did not immediately abandon the running game and say, okay, we've got to throw it in order to pick it up. Stayed with the run, was rewarded with a big-time pickup. Now they're in second and manageable. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yards. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. It's first and goal. Well, they're certainly running the ball pretty well on this drive, and all I remember as a secondary guy was if you're making a lot of tackles in a game, that's usually not good for your defense. You've got to figure out how to keep things in front of you because you know Things aren't going so well for your defense. On second down, McFadden. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of two. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll check in with Larry Ridley for highlights and analysis of our first half of play. Not too many highlights yet, at least in terms of scoring plays, that is. Yeah, but hang in there. We might get something these last two minutes. Packers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And Bailey able to knock it through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So after slogging through a scoreless first quarter, we have action on the scoreboard. A field goal makes it 3-0. Well, with these two offenses, we weren't going to stay 0-0 forever. Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Head back onto the field. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pickup there, a 22. 
from midfield. Here's Rodgers. That's caught by Geronimo Allison. And he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that. First and ten, here's Rodgers. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down at the 28. Thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Rodgers to throw once more. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Bennett. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. And now we won't see it's remaining in half number one. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Throw left side complete. That's Bennett. Give him a couple on the catch. It passes all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Martellus Bennett from 17 yards out. Six. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put him, in, put him to good use on that one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. On to the field. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. Here's Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Bryant. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this in the enemy. Prescott on first down. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurt. From the red zone now, Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Cole Beasley in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys are in for six. Well, someone has a sense of the dramatic here, don't they? Scoring this late in the half to take the lead going into the locker room. Now they just don't want to misstep misfortune on the next kickoff because there's still a little bit of time left on that clock. Yeah, every play is critical. If you give up something cheap there, all that advantage they just gained goes right out the window. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Bailey now to kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they're going to be set up in excellent field position up past the 45. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Reed. The Cowboys are happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead. The Packers won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Midway through the first quarter, Dak's throw into the hands of his veteran tight end, Jason Witten, and he'll be tackled at the 41-yard line.
Rodgers on target here, and this goes 17 yards for the score. The lead grows to four. Second and two coming up. Prescott going to connect here with pick number 88, Des Bryant. And he'll be tackled at the 36-yard line. Sticking with the same drive. Beasley's by himself here, and it leads to a touchdown. Cowboys go up by a field goal. So that's it for us. We'll go back in half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. They're close. Close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half, too, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this. To overthrow a six-foot, six-inch target. It is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got in him. They really do, and it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf. Where the and now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Packers. Ty Montgomery, 67 yards for six. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. In this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many plays do you script? Or whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Prescott now on second down. Bryant with a catch right side. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially, no, they weren't. And you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> Throw left side complete. That's Bryant. And he is out of bounds on the other side. In their offensive playbook, tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, 47 yards. And the Cowboys are in for six. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get deal. Now Bailey to tack on the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. Bailey now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. They take the field. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth. And who's going to make the play that changes that? That maybe it puts it on one side. Yeah, that wasn't a big run. Just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there. And you throw it again. And you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Now Rodgers. And over the middle to the tight end, Bennett. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. 
And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And he's got Bennett. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the Bennett. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Now Montgomery. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And a nice carry there of 15 yards second level because sometimes you'll break off the big run on his own but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level which gets you deeper into the second day now a play fake here on first down blitz coming and down he goes steven Paya forcing his way through there plays like that really hurt play calling they had a really nice gain on the previous play but gave about half the yardage back on the sack Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And they'll stop him right on the midfield stripe. They get two yards back. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a little daylight. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. This one fielded at the five. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. you probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out. Tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. In there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about a great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Clay Matthews with a pick. And they are going to set up shop at the... We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window. And everything is flipped in the other direction. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 16. Good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. They go play action here on first down. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to break. Three defensively, pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Bennett. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out. Ball here as we welcome you back. They've got a first down in field goal range already. 
First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. They'll run with Montgomery. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys to use here in the final stages. So second and goal here from the nine. Montgomery, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. To throw is Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Ripkowski, a seven-yard touchdown run. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk them. This is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard. Really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they worked on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. The got his man complete. And that one results in 35 yards. Got to think in a two-minute situation, that's got to be a concentration lap. You know they're going to go back to him with the game that he's been having. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they will score. It's a Packer touchdown. Score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you want. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right. Good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. And it's ha-ha Clinton Dix with a pick. And he'll take it across midfield to the 46-yard line. Those you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timelines. We take a break. Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. It's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it, and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com.